So Noble Chairs have teamed up with Ubisoft to create a limited edition Far Cry 6 chair. Thanks to the team at Naysaga, we're going to check it out today. Links to Naysaga's channels will all be down below. Make sure you check them out. Now that you've seen the chair, let's run through the product page of the chair and I can show you some features and quirks of a Noble chair. So the chair is built up on Noble's already existing hero lineup of chairs. So this means chairs come with integrated lumbar support, memory foam headrest, and other comfort features as standard. Obviously you'll have seen by now that the chair is in a Far Cry theme, I mean, you can't really, you know, not see it. But with a huge Las Gorillas baseball team logo, which is a embroidered gorilla on the backrest. It's a really nice and striking chair, stitching in black and yellow, so it really stands out from anything that you have in your room. Far Cry 6 logo and text is obviously embroidered into the headrest. Now, I was expecting to have a problem that when you're leaning back on the headrest, some of the stitching would be a bit discomfort. I've actually not run into any of that so far. And same goes for the large gorilla stitching on the backrest. No discomfort whatsoever when you're leaning back. Now let's dig a little deeper and let's get into the finer details of the chair itself. So the quality of the chair is amazing. The quality through the stitching, the build quality, it's really nice, but there is a small problem. I don't know if it's in manufacturing or just how components are put together, or maybe I've done something wrong here. But in a lot of the components of the chair, there's a lot of play and Comparing to some of the chairs that I've sat in previously, they've been a bit more rigid and a bit more sturdily built. Now the materials themselves that they've actually used are really nice. The steel frame that makes up the actual chair, the padding inside, the armrests, they're all really good. But as you can see here, there's just a lot of play in the 4D armrests that are being boasted here. Now personally, I would have been happy with either static armrests that can literally just sit there, or I'd have just been happy with armrests that can go up and down, doesn't need this side to side and front and back kind of business. So to be honest, for a chair at this kind of price point, I would expect a bit more rigidity. You know, in comparison, a secondhand home and Miller will probably sit you back two to 300 pounds and the build quality on those are second to none. Now the product page also states that the chair is suitable for males and females from 150 centimeters to 200 centimeters. And that translates to four foot nine and six foot five. So quite a big range of people covered here. Now, while it is a suitable chair, it's definitely suitable. There is a slight problem that I've encountered with chairs like these in the past and this current chair. Now, before I tell you this, I will say that obviously I am not gifted in the height department, but when I'm sitting on this chair, and when I mean sitting fully, that means my bum to the beginning of like my knee where it starts. My feet are a good maybe four to five centimeters off the ground. Let me just pause you there real quick. Do you want to be in with a chance to win one of these chairs for free? Well, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like this video and comment down below Far Cry X Nay Saga as shown on screen. The winner will be announced in the comment section in one week's time of uploading this video. Continue as you are found. So if we're talking comfort, like straight out the box with this chair, I will be honest, if you're, you know, part of the short club, you're going to have some discomfort if you like your feet touching the floor. If you don't mind them not touching the floor, this chair is great, honestly, it's perfect for you. You'll sit in there and you'll feel like you're in some sort of bouncy castle or something. Now, I will say, while it's not all doom and gloom, they do sell accessories for this, but A, for someone who will never check that page, right? I had to kind of look around Noble Chairs' website. Why are they so hidden? Why are they not put somewhere, you know, as soon as you're checking out for the chair, would you like to buy a gas lift, a shorter one, a taller one, whatever it is. And B, at this price point, you know, you've already spent a lot on a chair. Should you be really spending another 20, 30 euros, pounds, dollars, whatever you use, to make the chair comfortable and maybe usable for yourself, to me, just seems a bit skeptical that you've already shelled out this much money. But I will say that if you are looking to purchase one of these chairs, the one place where you will get your money's worth is the overall quality of the product itself. Now, as I previously mentioned at the start, the quality of the stitching, the perforation on the synthetic leather that this Far Cry chair has, the finer details in this chair are really beautiful and just aesthetically pleasing to look at. The synthetic leather itself is a really cleanable, breathable, material you know if you spill something food easy to wipe off unfortunately if you do spill some drinks the perforation obviously so it can breathe the water or whatever fizzy drink you know it will seep through and unfortunately go into the sponge below so for the love of god keep that bottle of coke or whatever you drink by your desk 
Keep it over the desk and not on the damn chair, please. One interesting thing to note though, that if you are a clean freak like myself, the design of the base of the chair is, is really nice. So normally if I've sat in these kind of gamery office type chairs, they kind of have these pockets by the side. Now, because this chair has a flat base design, no dust, your phone can't fall out of your pocket, no crumbs like that. They won't fall down the side. So it's really nice and easy to clean this chair. Simply just grab a cloth and just wipe the whole bottom surface. Overall, I would say this chair is really nice. It's unique for any environment that you're putting it unless you have like yellow colored walls. If you do, no problems with that, but it won't stand out as much then. But with my gray walls and kind of my blue theme that I have going on here, the yellow chair just kind of pops from the background and it, it just looks nice. And it's a really, you know, unique centerpiece, shall I say. The stitching and the finer details, like the perforation of the leather, the nice metal effect on all the armrests, the noble chair engraving on the lumbar support. It's, it's really nice touches. That's where you're gonna get your money's worth. I will say though, that if you are gonna purchase one, do make sure that, you know, you look at the gas lifts. There will be a link below in the description. They do have like three different types, I think it is. Make sure you get an appropriate gas lift so that once you put it together, you don't have to do all the stresses that I did of trying to take off the gas lift and it's just a big headache. Just make sure you get the correct one. But if you are looking to purchase one of these chairs, honestly, they are really nice and comfortable. I will say so for myself. You will see this featured on my stream a lot. You can also check out my stream. A link will be below in the description. If the video did help you, kind of gave you a bit of an insight or something like that, I would appreciate if you drop a like on the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification icon so you don't miss the future uploads that we've got coming on this channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.